Number seven, Michigan State traveling to the shoe to play number four, Ohio State. Let's go by the numbers here on the Buckeyes, starting with 46. Ohio State has averaged an FBS best 46.3 points per game this season, put up at least 50 points in five games this season, also leading the FBS. Ohio State 7-0 in Big Ten play this season, extending their win streak against conference opponents to 28 games, the longest active streak in the FBS. The Buckeyes have won five straight against the Spartans. Buckeyes have a 54% chance to make the playoff, according to the All-State Playoff Predictor, which is third best behind only Georgia and Alabama. A win this weekend against the Spartans moves that up to 59%. It's great to have Ohio State head coach Ryan Day joining us now as his team gets ready for Saturday's matchup against Michigan State. Ryan, so after some early struggles to find some consistency in September, what have you learned about your team over the last two months? Well, it's it's been a, a build up to this. We were a very, very young team early in the season. And um, I, I think over the last couple months, we've grown a lot and, and learned a lot about our team. We've gained a lot of experience. And this is quite a run that we, we've been on. You know, we had the bye week and we knew that it was six games here we had to finish with, with conference opponents that are, are very, very good. And the Big Ten has been very strong this year. And we have a really good team coming in this week. Uh, you know, Michigan State has, has really had a great season. They have a really strong team. And so it's all about preparation and being consistent, you know, especially this time of year. You know, in the Big Ten, you, you got to bring it every week. And that's a big part of uh, maturity. And so I think we've gained some of that maturity from the beginning of the season. You mentioned Michigan State. When you watch this team on film, what do you uh, what do you notice? What stands out, uh, especially the explosive plays from the Spartans? Yeah, I think they play complementary football. I think on offense, uh, certainly Walker is one of the better running backs in the country. Plays really well. Thorns played well. I think they have really good wideouts. I mean, they, they're very very good offense. One of the top you know twenty five offense in the country, and uh, and then on defense, they, they're coached very well. And, they, and they, they're uh, really strong up front, really good back end, and, and play well on special teams. So, um, you know, they, they believe in what's going on up there, and so it's going to be a great challenge for our team. You mentioned growth. C.J. Stroud's coming off his third performance where he's thrown five touchdowns and no picks in a game. He's a Heisman contender. What has impressed you the most about his comfort and that growth in your offense? I mean, he came into the, the first game of the season at Minnesota without throwing a college football pass, you know, a pass in college football. And so, uh, you know, a short period of time, he's gained a lot of experience playing the game. And, uh, you know, I think for him, it's been a couple of things. I think first off, his preparation has been uh, really, really good for, for a young player. Um, just showing up every day, uh, taking the meeting to the field and taking the practice field to the game. I also think he, he sees the field really well. I think he's got a really good feel. Um, you know, understands the game, manages the game well, and he's very talented throwing the football. You boast the most talented wide receiver room in the nation, and it seems like everyone eats each and every week. How would you describe the relationship here with Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, and Jackson Smith in Jigba? I mean, they're all very talented, and I think in, in order for you to have a special team, you have to understand that uh, it isn't about touches. Certainly, they all want to uh, impact the game, and they're all competitive, but they have to understand that, you know, it can't be about that. If they just keep playing really, really hard, you know, they're going to get their touches. And, and each of those guys have had big games this year. And, and there's been some games where they've all played well. And they've all had big games. The ball's come their way. And so, uh, you know, this is a team game. And I think they understand that. I think their unselfishness, uh, you know, going in game in and game out has been off the charts. And, and I think that's a big part of our success. And it's going to have to be here in November. Uh, you missed this game last year dealing with COVID. Looking back to that experience here, uh, what will Saturday mean to you in this environment at the shoe? Yeah, watching the game in my basement is not something that I expected to do last year, and it was a big challenge, really hard. Um, I think my son maybe learned some new words uh, that day, <laughs> but um, uh, it, it's going to be great to, to you know, coach in this game. That was very, very hard. And, um, it, it's been a wonderful year that way with, with you know, Buckeye Nation, and, and the horseshoe has been rocking each, each week, and you know, capacity crowd again this weekend is going to be great. You know, we missed that part of it and uh, looking forward to a great crowd on Saturday. Ryan, we appreciate the time. Best of luck Saturday against Michigan State. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.